So this question comes from Cheryl E. Uh, my name is Cheryl E. and I'm a long-term unemployed corporate IT individual. Unfortunately, I do not have any IT certifications nor an undergraduate degree. Cybersecurity is the area of expertise I ultimately want to be involved in. I've done so much research into vocational schools, college degrees, etc. I'm go uh, until I'm beyond insane. Your videos are very easy to follow. Therefore, I would appreciate if you could give me some guidance as to how I can take my knowledge and experience, turn it into a successful and profitable consulting business, and ultimately become a cybersecurity expert. Hmm. What is it with you guys in cybersecurity? How about you give up the cybersecurity? Cybersecurity, cybersecurity, cybersecurity. Eli, I want to be a cybersecurity expert. Um, if you want to be happy, give up the whole cybersecurity thing. Oh, golly. I don't know. It's funny. Why does everybody think cybersecurity is the way to go? I mean, it is if you're actually a security expert with a, with a clearance or whatnot. Um, but, but going in the door trying to be a cybersecurity expert, um, yeah. Uh, if you really want to be a cybersecurity expert, for all you people out there that really want to be cybersecurity experts, honestly, honestly, I have to say this from the bottom of my heart, probably your best bet is to go into the U.S. military. Well, if you're in the U.S. Um, that would be the best bet. Um, if I was really going to do, like, uh, really, if I really want to do cybersecurity, if I was like, oh, I want cybersecurity, um, I would go into the military. Now, depending on what the current benefit packages are and all that would depend on exactly what I would go for, but I would go for a technical program that gives me the highest level clearance possible. If you're going to go into the security world, clearance, clearance, is is what's valuable like having a real security real security clearance especially in the modern world that is a very valuable thing and it's one of those things that's exceedingly difficult to get um unless you're already in the whole military uh you know government complex right you know if if you if you, if, you, if you join the military, they basically hand out these security clearances as if they're like bubble gum. Uh, but if you're a civilian and you want to get a clearance, um, it, it's a horrible, tedious process. So even if a company wants you, you know, Lockheed Martin or whoever wants you, um, to actually go out and get a security clearance is, is a big pain in the butt. But really, um, the clearance is going to be one of the things that, that's going to be very valuable for you to get things like... Um, like clients and, and all that other kind of stuff. I don't know. Why do you want to be secure? You don't want to be a security expert. Uh, 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 you're scared. Uh. <laughs> I think this is kind of like one of those videos where I'm like half tempted to stop this and then half tempted to just keep going. Because it really is like... <sighs> you don't want to be a security expert. You don't. It's something flashy. It's something that looks cool. It looks sexy. But here's a problem with, with going out there and being a security expert, especially if you want to be a security consultant. Is You know what the problem is? Nobody wants to pay for you. Nobody wants to pay for you. They want to pay that much for you, right? If you go into the normal IT world, man, the C-level executives, they don't want to even pay for new servers and routers and switches, right? They don't They don't even know why they have to hire another MCSE. They're pissed. Why? Why do we have to hire another one of these dumbass network engineers that don't bring anything to the bottom line? And then the, man, then the IT manager is like, well, because they keep your entire infrastructure up and running. Yeah, but they don't bring us money. Well, except for the fact that they keep infrastructure up and running, which basically means the business keeps running. So theoretically, they bring they help bring us in all the money. Ugh, right? I mean, companies don't want companies don't want to pay for their infrastructure and security. Don't. I just. It's just like my brain. I'm just like, right, right. You want to be successful. You want to make a buck. You, you, you want to get somewhere in the world. Don't worry about cybersecurity. I really, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like, if you really want to be a cybersecurity expert, you really want to be a cybersecurity expert. What I would argue is you probably go into one of the reserves. Um, National Guard, maybe Air National Guard, Marine Reserve. You want to be really cool. You go into Marine Reserve. Uh, Marine Reserve, you go for technical and whatever the hell they call their job specialties. Uh, get the highest clearance possible. Since you're in the reserves, you then come back out, you go to college, uh, you get a computer science degree that's highly focused in security, computer science, not IT. Uh, and then, 
And then you have the base for by being a cyber security consultant. Then you go out there, you probably work for companies for a couple of years uh, to really get it under your belt. Um, and then you go from there. That's what I would say. But it's, it's long, hard, and tedious. I mean, that, that's, that's an eight-year process that has you joining a military organization. Right. But that, that's it, really, honestly. Um, because, I mean, you have to understand, there's so much involved in cyber. There's, there's a lot involved in cybersecurity that people don't think about. Is one, companies simply don't want to pay for you. I, I know you hear all this horse crap out there, like, we need so many cybersecurity experts. Well, yeah, we do need them. Unfortunately, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Businesses don't want to pay for you. Right? So one, they don't want to pay for you. Um, two, you have to know so many of these systems inside out and backwards. So you need that real solid technical skill level. Um, and then three, you also need all the legal information that goes along with it. You know, what if you go in there and you do penetration testing against a company, you certify them, and then the next day a hacker takes out their entire infrastructure because you didn't analyze some little thing that you should have analyzed, right? Uh, there's just so much. Um, have I told you about mobile app development? iOS development? I'm telling you, there's money there. There's money in iOS development. Yeah, there, I don't know. Yeah. There we go. You, you can, that's a nice part of the thing about doing this question and answer video. You, you, you can actually see it on my face. And so as I do this in one cut, you can see all my little things. And I'm just like, no, I don't, I don't know what it is with you guys in cybersecurity. Again, if you were coming out of the Marines, like I, I've had, I had that. I, I had one guy ask. And he would, had been stationed over in the Middle East for like his entire tenure in the Marines. He was a Marine IT professional with security clearance. And he asked me how to get cybersecurity. And I answered it way back when. And with him, him I had advice for, right? Because he's Marine, IT, War Zone, security clearance. Mm. <laughs> you? <laughs> ah. Go for app development. Seriously, go for app development. App development will make, make you money. Go out, get a... Uh, Get an Android, Android uh, book for dummies or an iOS book for dummies. Learn how to do that. You can do that on your own. You can make a crap ton of money doing app development and you'll be a happy person. Cyber, cyber security is just a fucking marketing. It's, uh, uh, uh.